up guys welcome to another video today we're reviewing the falcon and the winter soldier episode 2. this episode came out yesterday and of course stars anthony mackie as the falcon and sebastian stan as the winter soldier now before we start don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and post notification bell so you can get a free video let's just start let's start talking about the good so the opening recap of the previous episode i thought it was fantastic um, it gives all the important events of the previous episode so that you actually understand what happens in this episode um the sequences within this episode are very, very funny. There are a lot of hilarious sequences within this episode. What they're talking about, the um, sequences between Bucky and Sam, which are, of course, very funny. Um, they add to most of the humor in this episode um, because, of course, they don't really like each other, but they know they have to work with each other to defeat, you know, all these bad guys and... Um, they basically have to work together. So I thought the banter between those two characters was fantastic. Um, the action sequences. There are a lot of awesome action sequences within this episode. Um, the first episode had an awesome opening sequence. That action sequence was just fantastic. Um, and in this episode, you get more action sequences. Um, sort of, I guess, not more. Sort of on the same level as the previous episode. But... Once again, these action sequences are exciting, they're fun, and they're very entertaining. Um, the cinematography, which of course includes the shots, the camera angles, the lighting, is fantastic. There are sequences that are dark and are supposed to be, um, I guess you can say sad in a way, and dark. And the lighting captures that perfectly. The dark sequences are, of course, um, sort of... They look like sad sequences. You can actually feel the emotions coming off of the characters. And it, in turn, makes you feel um, feel sad for them. Which I thought it was fantastic. Um, the new characters, especially the new Captain America, are very, very, very good. Um, th the new Captain America is a character that makes you not want to like him. He says that he's trying not to be, you know, Captain America. He says that he's never going to be like Steve Rogers. But you do see him trying to be, you know, the superhero, trying to um, make everyone like him and all that stuff. And you also see him trying to basically push Falcon and the Winter Soldier um, and push them out of his way. And he does say in one of the sequences that, you know, stay out of my way or else, you know, something will happen to you or whatever. And that is sort of, sort of funny at the same time, because in one sequence in this episode, he actually needs help from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And they tell him that, you know, we're not going to help you and all that stuff. But it's, that also adds to his character. It shows that he is not perfect. He is not who he thinks he is. He thinks that he's, you know, this perfect um, new Captain America that doesn't need any help. But you obviously see in this episode that he does need help. And he gets help from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier in some sequences. Um, the character moments within this episode, especially between Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes, is fantastic. You actually see how their characters work together and how they develop as um, actual characters. And um, the sequences where they're working together, it actually makes it entertaining as well as um, it sort of has a lot of emotion to those sequences because, of course, they both lost Captain America. Captain America was Bucky Barnes' best friend and Sam Wilson was, you know, like his main guy. And it sort of adds to another level of emotion in this episode. Because, you know, obviously there are um, constant references to Captain America. Because this show heavily relies on Captain America's death. Um, because, you know, of course that impacts the Falcon, the Winter Soldier, and um, the new Captain America. Because now the new Captain America has to try to be like Captain America. Um, so, Captain America's death um, impacts basically every single character in this episode. Um... The ending sequence. Now, the ending sequence I thought was fantastic. 
there is a character that returns that you sort of already know that he's going to return in this episode because it it sort of makes sense since he's not dead and he does have ties to Captain America um, and another character which I'm not going to say um, and you will probably not be shocked by this reveal um, it's definitely not as shocking as the uh, Pietro reveal from WandaVision, but it is pretty exciting to see what they're going to do with the continuation of this um, TV show. Um, that's about it. There's nothing bad about this episode. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode 2 is a fantastic episode. And I highly recommend it, especially if you love that first episode. There is a lot in this episode that you will enjoy, and I highly recommend it. And I'm going to give The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Episode 2, an A. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and post the notification bell so you can notify for your video. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching.